So, you've heard about the asteroid that might hit Earth in 2032. In this video, we'll break it all down. How big is it? Where could it hit? How powerful would the impact be compared to nuclear bombs? We'll also look at other asteroids of similar size, past close calls, and, most importantly, should we be worried? And can we do anything about it? Let's find out. In 2032, Earth might face a potential impact from asteroid 2024 YR4. Scientists have been tracking this space rock closely, and recent calculations show that its chances of colliding with Earth have tripled, from an initial estimate of about 1% to the current 3.1%, and experts warn that this probability may continue to rise as more data becomes available. But what does this really mean? Asteroid 2024 YR4 was first discovered in December 2024 by astronomers using the ATLAS telescope in Chile. ATLAS, which stands for the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, is a network of telescopes designed to detect potentially hazardous asteroids just days or weeks before they approach Earth. This system has been instrumental in identifying thousands of near-Earth objects, including 2024 YR4. The asteroid is classified as a near-Earth object, or NEO, which means its orbit brings it within 1.3 astronomical units, AU, of the Sun. 1 AU is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, so this asteroid is definitely in our cosmic neighborhood. It's also part of the Apollo group of asteroids, which are known for crossing Earth's orbit. Scientists estimate that 2024 YR4 is between 40 and 90 meters wide, about the size of a football field. While that's not a planet killer like the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs, it's still large enough to cause significant damage if it were to hit Earth. For context, the asteroid that caused the Tunguska event in 1908, which flattened over 2,000 square kilometers of forest in Siberia, was estimated to be around 60 meters in diameter. So, while 2024 YR4 isn't an extinction-level threat, it's certainly capable of causing regional devastation. Right now, 2024 YR4 is ranked at level 3 on the Torino scale, a system used to measure the potential hazard of near-Earth objects. Level 3 means it's worth paying attention to, but it's not an immediate global threat. To put this in perspective, most asteroids are ranked at level 0, meaning they pose no risk. Level 10, on the other hand, indicates a certain collision with catastrophic consequences. So, a level 3 rating means there's a small chance of impact, but it's not time to panic. However, even a small chance is enough to keep scientists on high alert. After all, an asteroid this size could wipe out a city or cause massive tsunamis if it were to hit the ocean. If 2024 YR4 were to collide with Earth, the effects could be devastating. Scientists estimate that the impact could release energy equivalent to 8 megatons of TNT. To put that in perspective, the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima released about 15 kilotons of TNT, meaning this asteroid's impact would be over 500 times more powerful. The possible impact zones include parts of the eastern Pacific Ocean, northern South America, the Atlantic Ocean, Africa, the Arabian Sea, and South Asia. Depending on where it lands, it could trigger tsunamis, flatten cities, or create a massive crater, sending dust and debris into the atmosphere. This debris could block sunlight, leading to temporary climate changes and affecting agriculture worldwide. Tracking an asteroid like 2024 YR4 is no easy task. Astronomers use a combination of ground-based telescopes, radar systems, and space-based observatories to monitor its position and trajectory. One of the key challenges is something called the Yarkovsky effect. This is a subtle force caused by an asteroid absorbing sunlight and then re-emitting it as heat. Over time, this can slightly alter the asteroid's orbit. For 2024 YR4, even a small change could mean the difference between a close call and a direct hit. Scientists will be able to track 2024 YR4 until April 2025, after which it will move too far away for accurate observations. The next opportunity to track it won't come until 2028, when it re-enters a range where telescopes can gather more precise data. Until then, experts will rely on existing calculations and simulations to predict its trajectory. This isn't the first time Earth has faced a potential asteroid threat. About 66 million years ago, an asteroid estimated to be 10 kilometers wide struck Earth, creating the Chicxulub Crater in Mexico and leading to the extinction of the dinosaurs. More recently, in 1908, 
the Tunguska event in Siberia flattened over 2,000 square kilometers of forest when a smaller asteroid exploded in the atmosphere. These events remind us of the very real dangers posed by asteroids. While 2024 YR4 is much smaller than the dinosaur killer, it's still a reminder of why we need to take these threats seriously. If 2024 YR4 is confirmed to be on a collision course with Earth, there are a few possible ways to stop it. One method is the kinetic impactor approach, where a spacecraft would be sent to crash into the asteroid at high speed, pushing it off course. This method was successfully tested by NASA's DART mission in 2022, which altered the orbit of a small asteroid called Dimorphos. Another method is the gravity tractor, where a spacecraft would fly close to the asteroid and use its gravitational pull to slowly change its path over time. This technique takes longer, but can be more precise. In extreme cases, nuclear explosions could be used to break up the asteroid or alter its trajectory, but this would be a last resort due to potential risks. The good news is that the chances of 2024 YR4 actually hitting Earth are still low, only about 3.1% as of now. That means there's a 96.9% chance that it will safely pass by our planet. However, scientists will continue to monitor it closely, and if new calculations show an increased risk, we may need to take action. This isn't the first time Earth has faced a potential asteroid threat, and it won't be the last. The best defense we have is continued observation and preparation. As technology improves, our ability to detect and deflect hazardous space objects will only get better. Now let's address some of the questions people have been asking about 2024 YR4. One common question is about the impact hazard map. How do we know where the asteroid would hit if we don't even know for sure if it's going to hit Earth? The answer lies in the way we track asteroids. We have a really good determination of the asteroid's orbit in three-dimensional space, but there's still some uncertainty about its exact position in time. So, if the asteroid arrives at a specific point in its orbit at the right time, it could hit Earth. But if it arrives early or late, it will miss. However, all possible impact scenarios pass through the same narrow strip of land or ocean, which is why we can predict the potential impact zones. Another question is about the effects of an impact. What would it look like if you were right underneath the asteroid when it hit? While we don't have a specific asteroid impact simulator, we can use nuclear weapon simulations to get an idea. For example, if the asteroid were to hit a city like Lagos, Nigeria, which lies close to one of the potential impact zones, the effects would be catastrophic. A 40 megaton surface blast would create a massive fireball, flatten buildings for miles, and cause widespread destruction. The thermal radiation alone would be enough to burn people on the ground. Of course, most of the potential impact zones are over the ocean or sparsely populated areas. But if humanity is extraordinarily unlucky, the asteroid could hit a major city, causing unprecedented damage. The big question is, who would actually carry out a deflection mission? NASA's DART mission was a success, but planetary defense is increasingly becoming a global effort. The European Space Agency, ESA, and other international partners are also working on asteroid detection and deflection technologies. However, if 2024 YR4 were to threaten a specific region, the responsibility might fall to that region's space agency or even a military organization like the U.S. Space Force. The logistics of funding and coordinating such a mission would be complicated, but the technology is there. For now, all we can do is wait, watch, and trust in the scientists working to keep us safe from the dangers of space. Asteroids like 2024 YR4 remind us of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our universe. They're a testament to the incredible work being done by scientists and engineers to explore and protect our planet. While the chances of an impact are low, the fact that we can even have this conversation shows how far we've come in understanding and mitigating the risks posed by near-Earth objects. So, should we be worried about 2024 YR4? The answer is no, not yet, but we should definitely be paying attention. As technology improves and our ability to detect and deflect asteroids grows, we'll be better prepared for whatever the cosmos throws our way. For now, let's keep our eyes on the skies and trust in the science that's keeping us safe.